Good morning and happy Sunday. Uh, let's see, today is December the 6th, 2020. Let's see, I guess this is my second attempt at a video log and like how the, the first one turned out. I guess that's what practice is for. So let's start off with uh, how this how this year has been going by so far. Got pulled out of uh, mid spring semester out of school to transition to online. That wasn't. Uh, this semester, this last semester, is about to end at the end of this week. It's been all. And, and it looks like next semester is also going to be all online. So that's a thing. Where I got all my classes signed up for. So yeah. Um. More Java, some human anatomy study, which will be fun, and take another crack at more math. For some reason, math is. It should stick more, but it's. I don't know. Recalc is pretty rough. Uh, especially all online recalc. So, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Uh, this morning, I'm drinking some more Death Wish coffee. Mixed in with some heavy whip, cinnamon, honey, and nutmeg. And that's been my favorite lately. Talking about today. Today, let's see. The wife wants to play more Animal Crossing and so record some more. Be very I set up some scene. More on my stream deck and OBS, so it should be a lot, a lot more things to to play around with. Uh, put up a banner. Still trying to figure out a logo. Um, all the social media accounts are kind of set up, and I just need to get used to using them. Quit using Facebook on a personal account years ago. I don't even know. Um, Instagram I kind of been clinging on to as like ass thing for people to reach out on me and I haven't really been posting much but I should probably change that I've never used Snapchat and from what I understand people can post stories on it as well as it's where I guess Instagram got its idea for posting stories from so I guess those are the same thing, same to me. Twitter, or use Twitter, and I'm already having problems with it. Uh, trying to use my own email account to use Twitter because apparently it's already registered. And when you try to uh, do like I forgot your password or something on it, or try to reset it, it asks for your email. The phone number associated with it. I don't know what phone numbers with it, so I just made a new account using my phone number, and then hopefully I can try to eventually fix that whole email thing and get my email on my new Twitter account, which is just me cross-posting stuff from everything else, like pictures. Um, when I'll start streaming when that becomes more common of a thing. Uh, for the time being, I'm content with just, you know, just play uh, playthroughs and eventually it'll be live playthroughs and maybe a live uh, copy time. So until then, uh, pre-recording things is fine. I uh, still get used to this format and Playing around with the settings, I think I think the settings are a little better. The camera's great. Um, me do. I'll probably steal the wife's uh, camera. She's got a Canon T7i. I got an adapter for it. I tried using my GoPro, but it didn't really work out very well because without the battery, it has a slight delay in the audio feed. With the battery, it works, but heats up a lot and it made the batteries kind of swell like they're gonna explode and it's 
Yeah, that's a cause for concern. I mean, batteries are cheap, and exploding batteries could lead to exploding GoPro, and that is definitely not cheap. Uh, I really like my um, GoPro Hero 7 Black. That thing is a trooper, and I need more opportunities to use it. Else, uh, Gundam. I started building model kits for like again for like the first time in like. Uh, started with something small. I got got to paint some more of my uh. Uraven Gundam from Build Divers Re Rise. It's just a little little high grade, but the Uraven is really cool because it comes from the core Gundam, which has got all these little little packs with armor to swap in between and. It's just a really neat little little uh model. Then after that I have uh Reborn's Gundam from Build Divers. And I started painting that, but the paint didn't come out right and I ran out of paint. I got a little frustrated with it, so I like left it in the box and been sitting ever since. And I hope to get started back on that because all the pieces are all sanded down and cut from the trays. They just need to be pieced together and painted. That's it. So I need to strip some paint and start that. And I guess it was taking a bit longer because I wanted to do this uh, Reborn's Gundam and the Gundam Exia color scheme. So a lot of blue, a lot of red. Because uh, the suit itself is mostly white with some some off yellow. So I thought it would be pretty neat. Uh, for... What else have I been doing lately aside from school? Uh, watching anime. Uh, this fall anime has been pretty fun. Let's see, my favorites lately have been I'm Standing on a Million Lives, which has been great. Um, Journey of Elena, which is fun because the, the main lead character is she plays the role of true neutral really well to the point where it's frustrating. Um... What else do I look forward to every week? Hmm, those are the two big ones that stick out in my mind. Sure, there's another one. Uh, the slime one, the new slime one. Here, yeah, I got an anime list up right now. Uh, there is the Talentless Nana, which is like the anime version of Among Us, and that's not an exaggeration. Uh, I've been watching The Day I Became a God, which is slowly getting to the underlying like, plot besides being like a, a fun show. Oh, Onikawa, Over the Moon for You. It's so wholesome, and I can't get enough of watching even if it's not like an over-the-top exciting story. It's just silly fun. Uh, the... Irregular at Magic High School, which is far more interesting than the first season because it was just a bunch of Mary Sue, the main character, can do everything. There's a lot more going on that kind of makes it worth watching. Uh, Kuma 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 Bear, which, yes, it is Bear 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 Bear, has been also fun to watch. Black Clover is still going on. Uh, I still need to watch. Oh, the. I guess it's a reboot of uh, When They Cry. That uh, psychological horror has been really great. And yeah, uh, I might pick up Boruto again. Um, kind of dropped it, but it's still going, and people like it. So yeah, it's a lot of a lot of. Pretty decent shows coming out this season. Oh, and oh my God! Uh, let me let me get this mouthful out. Our last crusade or rise of a new world. Oh, that wasn't that bad. The anime with two titles. Why? I don't know. Um. Yeah, that kind of keeping up with that show. I started reading a bit into the manga because I got impatient, and it's okay. I don't. Still not sure where it's going, but I keep watching it, so something good going for it. <sighs> Holidays are coming up. Um, I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet. 
Either has the wife. Uh, we got a wedding on Christmas Day, friend's wedding. That should be really great. So right after the wedding, uh, we'll be driving all the way up back home to visit our family and then spending a few days up at home, taking the two kitties with us. We're both passed out currently. One's right here on the stool. It's been a weird year. We skipped out on traveling for Thanksgiving. Uh, reasonable. And yeah, I mean, mostly keeping the home. Not sure when all this stuff is going to die down, but hopefully, hopefully soon, hopefully next year. Hopefully next year. And now I got like a hundred more of these gator clips to hold on to drying pieces of plastic. I got 50 and I ran out. Got a hundred more. Because 50, you go through 50 really quickly. Okay. Uh, didn't do much shopping for uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, except I got this surprisingly popped up on Amazon for like a minute for $39. And now it's on Amazon for like $70. So that's a win. Um, the new Xbox uh, Series controller. I can't say it's a Series X controller because it's the same controller as the S. Just Series, I guess. Uh, this two-tone coloring. I'm slowly growing on it. It's very blue. Like, look at that. But it's got this white back on it, which, like, you could have made the whole thing blue. And then it's got this, like, this isn't even white either, this is black. And then the D-pad is also black. But, you know, it's it's growing on me. And then someone made a comment when they are like, reviewing the color scheme that it, it reminds them of, like, a nice pair of shoes. And I'm just like, ah, I didn't need that. I don't really care for, like, super nice basketball shoes like some other people do when they don't wear them but anyway I don't know it's growing on me it plays really pretty nice the only thing that it does not play well on is uh, Final Fantasy 14 and that's more of Final Fantasy 14's fault I got to figure out the issue with that there's there's like two profiles that um it detects when you have this controller plugged in one is the uh, the Xbox 360 um, default layout, which works fine. It's the same profile I've been using for my Switch Pro controller. Uh, just like with a little bit of remapping, it works just fine. But with the Final Fantasy controller, it also pulls up, or not the Final Fantasy controller, the Xbox controller, it pulls up like this Bluetooth setting. And all the buttons are just jank messed up. The, the stick thinks it's drifting when it's not. Um, none of the buttons are mapped correctly. Yeah, it's it's a mess. Like like the shoulders are like start or like start and and select for some reason. It's I I, I don't know. So I can't I can't use this to play Final. Fantasy. So I'll keep playing with the, the Switch Pro controller, which is great. This is this is a great controller. I reshelled it so it's got that uh this clear dark purple and got these uh Famicom style color buttons. They're kind of like lighter than they should be, but you know, they work. Um, this I'm still getting used to uh there's there's like this uh grippy texture on the back. And at first I hated it. It felt it reminded me of like sandpaper, but it's not it's not that rough. Like I can't rub it against like your skin and it'll tear it open but like it is definitely rough and it's still hard plastic so it's not like it's like rubber so yeah I don't I'm just, I'm getting slowly getting used to it it's just weird it's only on the back side and the and a bit on the triggers which I don't mind on the triggers at all but definitely a decent controller and I don't play uh I don't actually own a Xbox series or a Xbox one. I got this because it works on the PC really well for windows. 
because uh, a lot of games when you boot them up and you put in a controller, a lot of them only have profiles for either PlayStation or Xbox. And if they don't have PlayStation, they'll usually have Xbox because of all the, I don't know, just what they have. And I figured, you know, since it, it uh, the Xbox it just pairs uh, better with how Windows is handling all the drivers. Because for PlayStation, you need this third-party app that it works all right. Um, but yeah, I can see the battery life on it. It pairs pretty easily. I, it it works. That's all I wanted. And eventually, I'm gonna get a a battery pack for this thing because it has Type C, which is why I skipped the Xbox One controller because uh, it's still got micro USB on it. But this one, uh, yeah, as I get a battery on it, it should work great. And that's a thing. The cats. Uh, we're gonna be bringing them up this uh, this Christmas holiday since we'll be up there for a few days, and we don't wanna pawn them off to anyone else. The the cats. Are. Pretty sure no one else in my family is going to recognize uh, Noir, the the adopted raccoon cat that we got. He was anemic last year. We've had him for a year now. He barely had fur. He had actually a lot of bald patches on him when we found him. So, but uh, it's been about a year now. He is a long fur cat, getting hair everywhere, and he's very, very entitled. So he always tries to be the alpha cat and a uh, guard dog if he sees any other like animals or cats like through the window. Of course, we're still watching the Russian Blue. We're still watching him. He's he's pretty chill. He's kind of weird, though. I mean, you try to pet him, and he does that thing where he slinks away, like, all the time. Belly to the floor tries to slink away. He just, he only, he only likes affection on his, his terms. But he will lay on people's feet. He has this obsession with feet. But it has to be, like, indirect co contact. There has to be, like, uh like a blanket on, on your legs or something for him to sit in your lap. And like, yeah, as soon as you drape a blanket on your lap, it's like immediate. He like comes crawling over and settles down. Yeah, talking about you. You can see behind me, wifey put up a collage of cat pictures and it's gotten bigger and I expect it to keep growing. That's not bad, it's just... It's slowly going to get more and more ridiculous over time. Nice pictures. Got the little portrait of us on our wedding, of me and my dress blues. That's nice. That back later. Cat tree. Oh, in this cardboard cast. Yeah. We had a second um, cardboard cat scratcher in the theme of a fish taco truck. And that was really popular. It got completely demolished. Uh, because... R. Here, can I... Can you see this boy? He is on the card. Anyway. Uh, Noir, long for cat, would sprint around and like dive headlong into the taco truck or he would pounce on top of the taco truck and slowly but surely it would like just rip apart and the love would try to duct tape it and reinforce it and keep reviving it and finally it was just too far gone so now one of our friends is going to help us um get like a one made of wood, and so it'd be a lot more more stable. We're still gonna use the uh, scratchers on the in the inside and on the top, but the walls at least will be wood, and so hopefully it will hold their weight. It won't collapse. It won't self destruct. It'll, it should work out. So. That'll be fun to to see, and probably will be fun to paint too. Yeah. What else? Uh, 
still have Alan Wake to play through. Only that my Steam playthrough says is a lot long. I've been playing a lot longer, but a lot of that has been like me between videos taking breaks and stuff. So that it says I've been playing for 17 hours. I've not been playing for 17 hours. But anyway, I got to play through that. And then uh, this week, now it's this week because it's Sunday, uh, Cyberpunk. I'm going to probably play Cyberpunk as soon as that comes out. So I'm going to play on the week. I don't know if I'll finish this week, but I will definitely um, start playing Cyberpunk. So if I don't finish, I'll take a break from Alan Wake and play Cyberpunk. If I do, awesome. I'll finish it, play Cyberpunk, hopefully finish that, no, at least one playthrough of that, because I'll probably play Cyberpunk multiple times. It's already, I already got it. It's on Steam. It's just waiting. Um, but after Cyberpunk, I... Hmm. I might play Control next because Control recently came to came to Steam. It was I guess it was locked to the Epic Game Store for like a year. And yeah, I'll play that since it's the it's the same uh, company that made um Alan Wake. And I hear the two take place in the same universe, which is disturbing because Alan Wake is a psychological uh, thriller and I'm not going to be happy if I see some of these uh some of these monstrosities appear in control. So I mean I will be, but I also won't be. Like, you know. Um They're both uh I'm expecting control to also be a game that messes with your mind. Because Alan Wake sure is oh man, they got the atmosphere so good in Alan Wake. It's just I am having fun, but I'm, like I'm, I'm slowly chipping through it. Hmm. What else? Uh oh. The love has a playthrough of her island tour, and after watching it, I noticed that the the borders are like squished in slightly, and I thought maybe that's just was like a fault of the switch. Was it not putting out at 1080p? And it was the uh, the TV settings where it's. Uh, it, it's like in the switch that you can stretch it out in case it doesn't fit. And I noticed it's on my switch too, so I changed it on mine and I fixed it. So I'm expecting that it'll be the same easy fix on hers. And then we can record it full screen without those weird borders and I don't have to I don't have to go into it and like stretch out the the edges or squish them in. It's just need to stretch them back out. So Oh yeah. Um hmm, what else? I'm still working on a logo. I made a banner. Uh as far as these blogs go, they're I'm trying to think of them as like a like a weekly blog. Mostly mostly for me and anyone else who wants to listen while drinking coffee. Cause I also have to get better at journaling again. I think today I'm going to knock out one of the things on my list of backing up at least all the images on my phone and then wiping them all off just so I can start getting a habit of taking at least like one picture a day. Not really a random picture, just like a picture of what me and the wife are doing and then just cataloging it that way instead of having like a the mess of pictures on my phone that are just like when you like when you transfer devices and then when you like undo a retrieve a backup of your of your phone it like it dumps like things that you didn't even know it was still backing up which is fine but now like i have I have a ton of stuff and like some of it's on the sd card some of it's not and, and the dates are like the organization is like all over the place i'm just gonna wipe it clean uh, eventually, with like all the text messages too, it's just I gotta sort through which ones I still kind of need for um for some like work stuff, like conversations of one of them in particular uh, work issue I'm dealing with, where I have to keep keep the conversation so I could say like, oh yeah, he said this, yeah that, and that gets into not fun territory. Anyway, enough about that. Um, all right, so I guess. Today, in particular, is going to be horse cleaning. I don't think we need groceries today. No, no. 
cleaning, work on some Gundam stuff. I gotta paint outside because painting inside is not no bueno. Uh, helping with the the love. Um, do some Animal Crossing recordings. Um, thinking about that logo. Study for finals this week. Uh, just got three of them. Taking three classes next semester. Yeah, should be should be a pretty chill week. All right, so I'm gonna start this transition off. New ending screen that I have. Uh, I found out that the ending screen uh, is only available for the last 20 seconds of each video. You cannot go before 20 seconds. The window is 20 to 40 seconds. So, all right, there you go. Sign it off. See you next week. Let you know how this week goes. Bye.